The nation and even other parts of the world have had their eyes on Ferguson, Missouri. Earlier this week, a grand jury decided not to indict officer Darren Wilson, who shot and killed Michael Brown back in August. Now the NAACP has organized a march that has already started from Ferguson to Jefferson City. And I'm joined by Reverend Carlton Lynch, who will be headed there tonight, actually, to join those marching. Um, this march is, uh, was organized by the national chapter of the NAACP. Why are you wanting to go? I, th I think that so many people watch these type of events take place on television, CNN, different national uh, uh, broadcasts, and I just want to go and get my foot on the ground. I don't think sometimes you can help by being so far away. So I want to get there and, uh, and really just hear and just talk to young people uh, about what's going on. And uh, nothing's wrong with protesting, but just want to help be a part of peaceful protesting. And you spoke with a pastor whose church was actually damaged, a lot of damage going on there. What is the focus now with these protests? Well, you know, there's a lot of angry people. Uh, there's so many different protests, and they're not all peaceful. Mm -hmm. um, there's a pastor, Carlton Lee, the Flood Church, who his church was burned down. Uh, he doesn't know who burned it down. There's no speculations. Uh, and so forth. And uh, so I believe that most of these protesters, they are angry about the indictment uh, not passing mm -hmm. uh, on this officer. And uh, the NAACP and so many other uh, organizations want something done. Do you have a, any kind of strategy when you go there? What, what your kind of first plan of attack would be? Yes, when I first hit the ground, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, Gina, is go to the store where uh, this young man was first seen. Uh, and I want to walk the tracks, you know, from where he started at to the place where he uh, eventually ran into this officer. And uh, I'm going to meet the pastor of the local church there, and he's going to take me step by step. Uh, and then I'm going to meet with the NAACP group uh, that's walking uh, from Mike Brown's house uh, to uh, the governor's mansion, uh, to be as that. To just understand it a little bit more yes, just to yeah. just to be able to see it. Now, before tonight, you are organizing a rally. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Uh, tonight, uh, so many cities are taking a part of this whole idea uh, to bring peace to Ferguson. Uh, so I thought it would be great to have community leaders uh, to come tonight uh, in churches, to come tonight uh, at True Love Baptist Church, and just to bring attention and awareness that Fort Wayne, we're far, but we're still yet involved. What do you hope people will learn from this whole situation and, and this evening at the rally? Well, I think the whole situation uh, is different than what we'll learn tonight. Tonight is just to send hope, to send our prayers. Mm -hmm. But overall, I think there's a lesson that I believe that all of our cities uh, can learn from. In Fort Wayne, we've had issues. Uh, but I think right now, uh, there is an issue when it comes to community policing. Uh, and I think those issues need to be broadened uh, a little bit more. When it's all said and done, not just was it a young uh, black male, but he was a kid. And I think we're seeing too many kids dying uh, from law enforcement and just black on black crime in general. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that we need to do everything we can do uh, to stop violence and bring attention and awareness and turn on the light uh, that there's too much violence in our cities and throughout this country. Reverend Lynch, thank you so much for coming thank you. in. I Have appreciate a safe you. trip to Ferguson. The Hope Ferguson rally is tonight at 6 o'clock. That is at True Love Baptist Church. Reverend Lynch will be sending us updates from Missouri, so sh be sure to st stay with News Channel 15 throughout next week. We'll be right back.